Have you ever imagined having dozens or even hundreds of AI agents working for you simultaneously? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you something pretty close to that. Hey everyone, I'm Derek from Floweth. For those of you who aren't familiar with Floweth yet, it's this super cool canvas-based AI productivity tool. Its Oracle feature is like a system-level agent that can tackle multi-step tasks with the ability to plan and execute on its own. It can pull off tasks that traditional AI tools just can't handle. In this demo, we're showcasing a data collection and analysis scenario. We'll have Oracle search for the top 10 AI companies by size and create a dynamic chart based on their revenue data. Here's where we input our requirements. Don't forget to flip the Oracle switch on. Now check this out. Oracle's crafting its own workflow based on what we asked for. It'll break down the specific steps for us and we can tweak each one as needed. Let's take a look at what we've got here. The first task is to ask the user about those specific 10 companies, but we can tweak that. Instead, we'll have it search for which 10 companies we're talking about. Oh, check it out. The second step also includes a search task. No need for redundancy. So let's just nix that second step entirely. Running through the remaining steps, everything else looks pretty solid. We're good to go. Let's hit confirm and let this baby run. All right, now we can see Oracle kicking off its first task, searching for those 10 AI-related companies. Looking at the results, hmm, not quite what we were hoping for. It only pulled up four companies. But hey, that's totally normal with LLMs. There's always a bit of randomness in play. No worries though, we can just hit that rerun button and give this task another shot. Now we can see that it has pretty accurately found these 10 companies we're good to go ahead and let it continue executing. What we're witnessing now is a pretty impressive phenomenon. Oracle is simultaneously calling 10 agents to conduct separate searches on each of these companies. It's digging up their specific revenue data for the past decade. Of course, we can see that some of the data might not be complete for a few companies, but no worries. We can just click the rerun button on individual nodes to initiate a new search. Now that we've got a pretty solid result, we can give it the green light to keep on trucking. In the third step, we see Oracle calling a summarization agent to consolidate the 10 search results and organize them into a table. The data in these tables will provide crucial information for subsequent execution. We can see that the data in these tables is highly accurate, allowing us to proceed with confidence. Moving on to the fourth step, which is the most critical, we're generating charts based on the previous results. It invokes a web generator that uses code to create an interactive web page in real time, rendering the data into visual form. Now that the chart generation is complete, we can see the impressive results. The chart displays data for 10 companies using a line graph format, plotting all the company data on a single chart. What's more, it comes with built-in interactive features. When you hover your mouse over it, you'll see some specific data pop up in a tooltip. As usual, if you're not completely satisfied with the results, you can suggest modifications and send them back for reprocessing. During this process, it'll generate a new result based on the original code and your requirements. Check it out. We just had it change the language to Japanese and it nailed our instructions perfectly. It translated the language into Japanese while ensuring the data remained unchanged. Now, if we want to make some more dramatic modifications like digging into data from 10 years ago, we can easily specify that in the input box below. We'll just tell the AI our new requirements directly. Once we submit these new demands, Oracle will revamp its workflow, conducting necessary further searches, information compilation, and chart creation. We won't go into the nitty gritty of each execution step, but I believe this video demo has already showcased Oracle's capabilities pretty well. If you've got similar questions or needs, feel free to give Oracle a whirl. For instance, you could ask it to chart out the prices and supported context lengths of the top 10 smartest LLMs, or compare price trends between New York real estate, gold, and Bitcoin. Oracle can handle all of these tasks like a champ. We'd love for you to dive in and experience Oracle firsthand and please shoot us your feedback. We're continuously working on beefing up Oracle's abilities. This is Derek from Floweth. 